I'm just gonna show you one that I made for the semi retreat, just so you kind of get a gist of what we're gonna do. And this is it. I keep going the wrong way for my camera. So okay. it has, I don't know if you can see it in this lighting or not. I'm hoping we can, can get see it back better. away from the camera just a little bit more towards your head, more towards your head. Okay. And then kind of angle it because there's an effect in there that's hard to catch by camera. And it's is really, it, yeah, you're getting better. Hard? You're getting better. Bring it up a little bit. There we go. Yeah. Now, okay. Now, now just do that whole angle thing and we'll catch the light. Yeah. When you go kind of sideways, you can really see the depth and okay. it's, it's much more prominent in person. So look at it. Is. It's, it's hard to see it on camera for sure, but you're going to be able to see the difference between the two when I flip the camera down. Yes. Um, but the cool thing about it is, is when you, you, it makes it easy to use a photograph. So photographs with cello sheets, if they don't have a solid kind of background, you lose your detail in the cello sheet. So it's kind of a way to back it and make it reflect the light. So it actually makes it look like it's three-dimensional in some ways. Okay. Now, cool. What is a cello sheet? And I'll put the link up for you guys. So I'm working on right now. cello sheet. It's kind of like edible. It comes like this. Oops. I keep going the wrong way. <laughs> and it is kind of like edible cellophane. Very good. But it's really, it's really cool. There's a lot of different things you can do with it. Like you can make lace with it. Um, you can do what I'm going to do with it for an application. There's just so many different things and testing out a new theory, but I can't tell you right now. I know it's, knows, really cool. it's really cool. Yeah. Another technique. Um, and um, it's mainly, it, it was actually created for putting on top of drinks because um, it has that cellophane type feel to it. Um, right. And of course, you know, we have to put isomalt on everything new we have. It's great with isomalt. You can even put it on the sides of cake and it gives a shiny appearance when you're using it on like buttercream or fondant or something. Um, and it, it prints really well. Like the, the print is crisp and clear. Like you're going to see it in just a minute with a photograph. Um, I was a little leery about using a photograph with it, but it worked beautifully. It's just oh. so clean. And what else would have, oh, it comes in clear and, um, and uh, white as well. Right. And, and I'm using the clear. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Using the clear. Okay. So I'm going to flip you down. Okay. Hoping, hoping for, you know, quick and easy. <laughs> All right. Here we get dizzy, guys. If you have problems with this kind of thing. Uh, Sorry. Back away from the camera. Um, she's doing good. She's doing good. All right. Can you move the camera up a little bit to get more of your area? Like everything's a little too close. Oh, I'll try Ooh. just a second. Okay. Hang on, guys. Everybody hold tight. Oops. You can't use a cutting machine with a cello. Yes, you can. You can totally work. You can use cello sheets um, and you can actually set it so it's just cutting the cello part of it. Um, and then you peel it off just like a sticker. So yes, you definitely can. All right. Now you're, you're, um, are you ready for me to tell you where you are? You probably want to move it to your left a little bit. My left. No, no, not rotate. Just slide the whole thing. Oh, slide it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's see. Jesse Ann says this works in domes and blown sugars as well. Becky, yes, it does. you say you were flipping me off. That was a long time ago. She was flipping us down. And Laura, <laughs> yes, definitely. Um, and actually, it's much easier to use if you cut it into smaller pieces and then peel. Um, and Becky's saying that you can cut the cello sheet with a die cut as well. And I think you're perfect. Wait, no more, no more, no more. Bring it back towards you a little bit because you'll go off the camera otherwise. There we go. Stop. Okay. okay. There's a delay on my end, so I couldn't tell. I know. I'm looking at. I'm looking at. I got the delayed one and the other one. Um, so right now we can see okay. the two items you have created. Okay, I'm gonna flip them around. Okay. Now <laughs> one we can't really see well because of the way the reflection is. That's the darker one that is on your left. All right. Yep. And um, that is one you can really see it, and from this angle, the depth, which is cool. 
And see, and that one right there, that's the one that I just poured with ice malt. There's no, there's no application on that one yet. Okay. So, oh, I just got to get my gloves on. Oh, that's going to be cool then when we see it. Yeah. So I wanted to do it so that you'd see from start to finish. So I'm going to take out. Oh. <laughs> Stop it. Sorry, guys. She's a friend of mine too. So I tease her every other word she says. So it's please, if you're from Canada, don't take it personally. You can totally imitate me and I'll be fine with it. <laughs> okay. So it's super dry here right now. And normally I have to peel the cello sheet off the backing because you always have to take the backing off. Do not pour with the backing on. Um, anyway, so it's so dry that it's just like coming off like butter. So I'm just going to clip off this excess because I save it for other fun things that we're not talking about right now. <laughs> yeah, she's got something new. I have secrets. Okay, so I'm taking my backing off. And look how clear that is. That's really clear. clear. Unless you like, bend it, we can't see it. You know, unless... Right. Oh, crap. My dog found the other door. Sorry. And see, even with my glove underneath, you can't see it. It's like it disappears. Yeah. But yet with something behind it and ice malt on it, it just pops all those colors right out. It's the coolest stuff ever. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move this stuff out of the way. And we'll come back to this one after. Whoops. And I'm just going to set that one off to the side a little bit because I'm going to need some space over here in a minute. Okay. So I'm going to heat up my ice malt. And we'll pour this. I just started to eat it, but it's solidified on me again. Dang it. I'll just give it a little shot. Bang. Bear with me a moment. Hey guys, if you haven't shared it already, shared it, shared it already, please do so. Yes, please share. Please share. Let's see how we're doing. Uh, I think I can answer that. Okay, so I've already boiled this, so I'm not worried about boiling it again. I was just like warming it back up again. Just gonna give it a little shot here. So what is that? Is that ice malt? This is ice malt. Sorry. Okay. Put this way. This this way. Semi ice malt is clear. Best ice malt ever because it is really clear. It's perfectly clear in every color, perfectly clear. Unless you want one that has, um, oh, the metallics or anything like that, or a solid one. But even the solids, they're just so, such beautiful colors, amazing colors. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to start pouring this, and I'm going to pour it in the center. And I don't really care, because I'm kind of an organic kind of girl. I kind of just want it to go wherever it wants to go. Now, one thing, you have to make sure that you have lots of padding underneath of this. And I didn't get it warm enough, dang it. I thought I had it warm enough. I'll just work with it. Um, just because, like, I'm working on my stainless steel workbench. And the stainless steel conducts heat. So it'll actually pop. It probably will pop here shortly. It wouldn't surprise me if it does because it usually does when I'm pouring on it, but that ice melt wasn't super hot. So, okay. So now what I'm going to do is, and I do, usually I want it like further out than this. So I'm just actually going to pull it out, but you have to do this quickly because once that ice melt hits the cello sheet, it adheres and it doesn't want to move out any further. So I'm just pulling some of it around and I'm trying not to disrupt what's underneath just the top. And the cool thing about this too is, is that you can manipulate the ice malt on this, which I'll show you once it sets a little bit around the edge, but you don't want to like hold it down and you don't want it to move too much underneath because I do find that it causes not, not really bubbles, but almost dents in the back, but look how clear and beautiful that is. 
can only get that with that semi-isomalt. They have special formulas and recipes and procedures, and it's all a secret. It's I know amazing. it does look like a face right now, doesn't it, Laura? <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? It's so mm -hmm. pretty. So I'm just going to give it a little shot with my, and don't try not to hit the cello sheet with this because the cello sheet will burn <laughs> with your torch. Mm -hmm. So I'm just hitting it a little bit just to get some of those surface bubbles out. And then I'm going to let it sit. And because this is a small one, it won't take too long to set up. I'm actually going to test the side here. Oh yeah, we're starting to already. So what I did on this one is I took the isomalt and manipulated it up and around to kind of give texture where the sand was, texture almost like a wave coming up here on the edge. Um, and then I pulled away on this side, which I can break away and I'll show you that afterwards. Or you could leave it there as like a water effect if you wanted to. So what I'm going to cool. do right now is I'm just going to go in and I'm holding that sheet down so it doesn't move underneath. And I'm just going to take my scribe, my little scribe. If you want scribes, message me. These are my little scribes. So take your scribe and just kind of make little divots where the sand is. If you want a wave like this wave coming up, you can just pull a little bit and add some texture in which is so cool that you can do this. Like you've got time to push it in wherever you want to. I love this. And then just let it set up. So once you're happy with it, just leave it, let it set up. And if you see, see this one, the ice mop isn't quite set enough for me to pull it. So I'm just gonna pull it again until that little wave stays. And all I'm doing is I'm just sticking the very tip of my scribe in and pulling that up. But I do like texture in my pieces and movement. I'm not a, I'm not a flat kind of girl. I like extra. <laughs> extra. Flat I'm a little extra, aren't I, Debbie? I'm extra. Extra special. <laughs> She's pretty. Special in such a good way, right? Right. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> I mean, that okay. is a compliment. So I'm just moving this and see, I it's hard probably for you to see, but I'm actually lifting that up. So it's about a quarter of an inch off the surface right now to give me that wave. I'm just poking it a little bit and just manipulating it until it cools down a little bit so it'll stay there. That's cool. I like the way you do that. It's, it's really fun just to play around with it. Just, I love playing around and, and figuring things out and coming up with new techniques and new ways of doing things. And I really like adding visual interest into stuff. Like there's, of course, there's lots of interest in this picture. Yeah. But when you can add texture to it and make it look like it's jumping out at you, it's even yeah. cooler. You know what you need next? The Zioto pen. I have it. Oh my gosh, why aren't you using it? <laughs> I'm going to, because I can manipulate oh. it with this. But I'm going to show oh. you on the back what I can do. Oh my gosh, that's exciting. Woohoo! I have it heating up right now. All right, Brooke wants you to say something, please. She wants me to say she wants something. You to, she wants you to say out and about on a boat. Out. And about on a boat. <laughs> Are you trying to be American? <laughs> you try. You really okay. tried. Okay, I tried really hard to not have an accent of any kind. Okay, so I'm going to leave that. Let it sit. It might fold down, but that's okay because I just want to move on. So I'm just going to slide that out of the way. And I'm going to slide this one over. So as you can see, there's excess cello sheet around there. Now, sometimes it'll just break off. No biggie, like that. And don't throw it away. Keep it. There's lots of things you can do with it. Loads of things you can do with it, to be honest. So I'm just going to continue to break off some pieces, get them out of my way. And the ones that, as Jessie showed in one of her lives that she did, 
even the ones that have cello sheet on the back, save it because it adds texture into pieces when you melt it down again. Like I think she did kind of, it almost reminded me of a mosaic. It was yeah. really cool. Oh so yeah. I'm, so don't throw any of that away. Like you can keep it, put it together. Even the colored stuff, don't throw it away. It's same as icing sheets. Even if it's colored, keep it because you can always use it for something. There's okay. So you, you, just get, you get you. My brain just went pop. Um, so um, you could take what you're doing, like, and use the clear clear cello, and uh, you could use white too. It doesn't matter. And print a mosaic, like all different colors, and put pour ice on it, and then drop it, and then. Like, oh yeah. Yeah. That would, be, that would be cool. That'd be really cool. Okay. So now I'm flipping it over and this is, I find this difficult to see just because of how clear that photograph is, but I'm taking my Zioto. Let me make sure that I have it turned up here. And what is a Zioto pen? And I'll put up the link for you as well, guys. The Zioto pen is kind of, to me, it's almost like a wood burning tool, but it's for sugar art. So you yep. can use it on chocolate, you can use it on isomalt, you can use it on fondant, um, there's on cookies, just on cookie dough, like baked cookies, I should say. Um, I've used it on smart sheets and carved into smart sheets on one of our lives we did. I think that was the charcuterie boards that I used on a live. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here along where these clouds are. And the reason I'm doing that is because I kind of want to accentuate. Oh, and the other thing is they come with all different tips. I don't know what this tip is called, but it's kind of got an angle. It's a round tip with an angle on it. Um, so I'm just going to trace along the top edge of this pink cloud. And I'm sure, like I said, I'm sure it's hard for you guys to see. I'm actually going to turn it up a little bit. So it has a little dial on the side. And I find sometimes to get through the cello, it has to be a little hotter. But this is basically just etching the cello to add more dimension. <laughs> you have to go back and read this stuff afterwards. <laughs> Oh God, what? <laughs> Becky, she said, charcuterie. That was the best live yet. <laughs> we had demo, demo, demo derbies. Charcuterie. C'est français. Oui, je parle français. <laughs> charcuterie. That was fun. We got to do that again. We got some plans for you guys, so don't miss them. Just when you think something's like a normal, boring live, it's not going to be. Not that it would be ever boring, but... Um, it's never boring. No, it's mean, never this, part, is. this part's kind of boring, but, you know. Yeah, and we it's may have surprises boring. in lives we may not advertise. Just telling you all, don't <laughs> want this our lives. Um, right. Especially when they're live lives, because then you can participate. Exactly. So okay, great. so I'm going to flip it over. See, now you can see that there's some dimension in there. Can you see it? Yeah. That's cool. So I'm, I'm also going to do the horizon line on the water. <laughs> Timmy said she was, Sydney. Sydney was saying she was driving, and now she's catching up. She says, congratulations, icing images. I say congratulations, Simmy Cakes. Woo! Um, exactly. yay. Both of you are awesome. Yay, Simmy Cakes, and thanks for the shout out. Oh, yeah, she's answering every, everything she has to say up until this point. She's answering now in a row. So we'll have to kind of remind member in our background. She loved this technique at the Simmy retreat, Heather. Love how Thank clear you, the SMS is, too. Don't forget to use, oh, yeah, very important. Don't forget to get your entry into the Sugar Splash Sugar Art Competition by Friday at midnight Eastern Standard Time, I'm assuming. Um, Mine's almost done. Woohoo! I am not voting because I believe I will be biased. 
<laughs> also because I don't not allowed. Want to. You can't do it. I, I don't want to. Um, <laughs> so no. um, yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, just oh Lord. Um, as opposed to an unlive event, zombie lives. That's what Stacy says about our lives. <laughs> <laughs> Well, as far as record, like watching the playback, um, I get people who watch it and they say hi, and these random highs pop up on my you know, messages. I'm like, what? What? Yeah. <laughs> um, Jesse wants to know: Are you working on the cello or on the isomalt? Looks like the isomalt. I'm actually on the cello. I'm on the cello side. Yeah, she's on the back. I'm on the very back of it. So now I'm just adding where that wave is. I'm just adding some texture to it because on this one, I didn't pull any texture up where the waves are. So I'm just giving it a little more texture and dimension. Brooke is com confusing everybody. She said, Jesse, isomalt poured on cello. She's using the zero down the isomalt, which was wrong, Brooke, wrong. Wrong -o! <laughs> Brooke, pay attention. gosh so here as you can see in the photo it's actually two photos that i spliced together because i didn't like the sky in the photo of willow jumping in the water Willow, this is my daughter by the way um so what i did is i took a photo of a beautiful sunset and spliced it on the top but there's no pink in the water so i'm just adding a little bit of texture in here so then i can add some rose gold to it and gold to mimic the sunset in the water reflecting. You okay. should see what's going on on my feet. I have a bed like underneath my desk for the dogs. Yes. One's sitting there licking the cat's ears. The other one's looking at the dog and the cat like, what? This doesn't make <laughs> sense. And then the cat comes back for more licks. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Yeah. I'm wondering Sorry. if I set that down, if you're going to be able to see it better. I uh, know. We can see it really well, actually. Can you? Because really on my well. end, it's so, I can't see. Her. It's mm -hmm. really grainy on my end. No, it's beautiful, actually. Okay. I mean, you can't see the texture as well on the bottom, but when you put it down, we can see everything. Okay. So I'm going to come in and just put another layer of texture up here real quick. When I say quick, you know, it takes a little time with the Zyoto to get through the cello and into the isomalt. But you just let the Zioto do the work and just like kind of lay it there and let it go. Lay it there and let it go. And the longer you let it sit in one area, of course, it's gonna make a bigger pool, see? So if you don't want a really wide line, don't let it just lay there, just kind of keep moving it. Almost like you're scratching it, but you're not actually putting any pressure because the Zyota will do it. Oh my gosh, these conversations are funny. <laughs> and I'm missing it all. I know. Um, Jesse <laughs> said that when she did this on her cello, it gave her a 3D image. And that's kind of what's happening here. Um, right. Because you're digging in, but you're also on some of the things you're pulling up too, right? Yeah. So I pulled up on the front but I'm going in on the back. Now on this one, I did pull up on the front in some areas, but not on the water. All right. Um, <laughs> Marilyn O'Neill just came on. I'm late, but at least in time for the sharks. Looks so cool. There's no sharks, <laughs> but um, they were talking about the charcuterie boards and they were having different pronunciations of them. Um, looks so cool. <laughs> We'll go back and watch the beginning and the replay. Thanks for sharing. Okay. So there it is. And we're ready to roll. So now what I do is That's I so take, cool. I'm actually going to get that out of the way. I love the one with the waves that you pulled up. The first one that you did. It's That's this really, one. that effect is really cool. This one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And see it, it does settle in. So you have to keep working it until it solidifies. Mm -hmm. So that one did settle a little bit, but you can go back in there with a little bit of paint to accentuate the wave. And basically all of your design work is done right there. It's done. You just have to add a little bit of color to it if you want to, or some of these lovely things 
the highlight bling highlighters. So I have gold, rose gold, and the silver from Pepsi Cakes, and you can get it from Debbie. Yep, and I will put that link up once again. Becky's wanting to me, me to read all her stuff, but I'm not because we need to keep going a little bit. We'll we'll do it. No, don't worry. Okay, sweetie. so now, so this is I did add texture on this one. I don't know if I can turn it so you can actually see it. So there is a wave over here. There it is. So I added the wave on the outside of this one. So now what I'm going to do is flip it back over. So this is the isomalt side. I'm flipping it back over to the cello side. And I'm taking lemon extract. Now the reason I'm using lemon extract and not, um, not paper potion or anything else or water even is because I want it to dry really fast. And if I don't, oh, I guess I've got silver in that one. Oh, well, whatever. Anyway, if I don't use lemon extract, I, it'll take too long for me to wait in between coats. And this takes about, about. there I said, it, I said about, I caught myself that time. <laughs> I uh -huh. So I, I just pour a little bit in here in the cover and that way you don't waste any of your lovely bling okay so you're and going to thing, lemon extract to cover of bling highlighter dust yeah and one thing you'll notice is the lemon extract it it does dry up very quickly and it takes on like right now i'm gonna have to add more and i did add quite a bit so you just kind of have to go with it until you get a paint like consistency and it smells really good. <laughs> you could use vanilla for this too. You like if it's if it's real vanilla, and it's because of the alcohol content is why it dries so quick. Um, and some people like I can't get Everclear here, where it's illegal in Canada, <laughs> so we can't have that. We're not allowed. Anyway, so all I'm going to do is take this and oh, I managed to get lemon juice on my hand. I am covered in dust now. So I'm just going to pick this up and look for where I have, where there's a yellow tone or a gold tone in the clouds. And I'm actually, I think I might just take that outline right on top of where I carved with this Yodo. Oh, yeah. Look at the way that pops out now. And that'll really pop it. Like, how cool is that? That is very you, cool. If you find that it is too thick of a line, you can always go back in and blend it out with a little more of the lemon juice, just straight lemon juice. But it's going to look... Think, oh, go ahead, keep really, going. It's going to look really cool when it's flipped over to the other side. Because right now we're on the back side. We could have a drinking game every time she says out or about. <laughs> I do say it a lot, don't I? <laughs> well, it's only because you say it funny. That's we, we would never notice otherwise. That's hilarious. If you talk like American. <laughs> America. American. <laughs> America. <laughs> oh, man. Too funny. Okay. So there. And so basically what the reason that I came up with this and decided I would try it is because when I was a kid going to the fairs, I would I always fair? love winning at the fair. You'd always, well, not always, but it was always fun to win a mirror from the fair because it always was kind of glittery and sparkly. So it might have a unicorn on it or whatever, but they were so much fun to win. And I would have them plastered all over my bedroom walls because I would win as many as I possibly could at the fairs. <laughs> anyway, but that's what this kind of reminded me of when I came up with thinking about how to do this is it, it was because of that. So now I'm going to switch over to my pink or my rose gold, I should say. Brooke, you know oh. what you're going to get her for her birthday, right? I'll flip um, that over so you can see yes. it now. Oh, yeah. Now we had 
vision of it. Um, lean it up away from you a little bit. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit oh, more. I almost dropped it. I almost dropped it. It slipped. How's that? Um, I don't know because mine went, my, I have to give it one second. It's got to catch up. Oh, I'm way behind on my, on my regular thing. It's hard for me to tell quite yet because it's not coming over quick enough to the live feed. So I'm behind. I, I can see behind what everybody else is seeing. Oh, okay. now it's there. Now it's there. Okay. All right. That's, yeah, you can definitely see it now. That's cool. Okay. That's really, really, oh my gosh, it's amazing. That's so okay. cool. Okay. So sorry. I'm gonna... excited. <laughs> so I'm going to flip it over and do the same process with the rose gold and the lemon juice so that I can add those highlights in before. Oops, that was a lot of rose gold. Sometimes I get a little overzealous with the rose gold because it's so pretty. I know. I love it. We, when we first got this, we kind of played with it and put it against other brands. I'm not saying the brands because they're all good brands and that has nothing to do with it because there's lots of good brands out there as long as it's really, really, truly edible. Yes. Um, but it, it, those colors were so far more beautiful than any others that I saw that were the yeah. same color, to be the same color. Um, but again, I'm not criticizing any other bling because there's so much amazing bling out there. Oh yeah. And there are, and I like, I do have some that are kind of holographic bling. Those are really pretty, but for this kind of project, that rose gold is gorgeous. Yeah. So now I'm just going to go in where the pink is and just kind of paint in around. Can you make a holograph? Have you tried it? What? Holographic? I haven't uh -huh. tried it with this technique. All right. Well, you know what to do. Um, okay, I'll get on that. All right, Kathy, um, she poured the isomalt right on top of the cell after she peeled the cello sheet off the backing. So you may not have realized what she was doing because the, it, it's so clear. Um, Stacy is loving this. Carol Fisher is on, by the way. I didn't tell you before. Um, Hi, Carol. And she says it's really, really, really cool. Sorry, my dog's digging underneath me. I can um, hear him. I know. He's really going down here. I don't know why. Oh gosh, um, that's so funny. You're not going to get to China, sweetie. Stop it. Come on. Here, eat that. Um, and Carol, uh, Stacy said he's loving this technique. Carol Fisher says, now, Brooke, you, now you know Brooke would not spill the booze. Um, <laughs> and if she did, she would suck it up from wherever it was spilled to. Yes, without the straw. Um Brooke said she has done the holograph on isomalt and chocolate. You're gonna have to show me, girl. I want to see it. Uh, Mate says love long. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> Carol's now starting to chime in. Did you use a straw to suck it up? Becky's loving it. Carol Fisher. Be Becky said Carol Fisher. I meant the holographic. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> I love the way that's coming. We, you're getting good angles on it. I was worried about the camera and picking it up. That's what but, I was worried um, about too. No, it's coming in beautifully. I mean, you can't see everything perfectly, but as you as it moves and stuff, you pick up the other parts of it. Okay, good. Because it it is so much better in person, but obviously, I can't be. But you can, I can, I can see the depth of that, especially in the sky with the gold. Oh my gosh! So. Now all three, the dog, both dogs are sleeping on this mat with the cat. Oh my gosh, that's funny. <laughs> this okay. is really funny. So now because we have, I'm adding in that color for the sunset, you kind of have to hit <laughs> the waves with a little bit of highlight too, because they're going to catch mm -hmm. some of that sunset as well. So I'm just going to come in here and there with a little bit of the color. And my sunset is coming this way. So I'm always going with the, the way that the light is hitting. I'll just touch this and my paint is drying out. That's how quick that paint dries out with the lemon juice. And you're also in a very dry climate right now. 
I it is so dry here. Like I can't even get over how dry it is. Okay. So I'm just going to add a little bit on this side and then come back in with some of that gold and then we'll get on to the cool stuff. I'm surprised my gold stayed liquid. I must have put a lot of lemon juice on that one. <laughs> Whoopsie. So I'm just going to hit that horizon line again here and there. And then a little bit of the color in behind the pink on the waves. Rebecca came on and said, hi, good night. So that was fast. I don't know if she's leaving. <laughs> she's saying good night as hello. Maybe she's saying Mate, good hello. She could be. Um, Mate is saying something in Spanish. Ese todos margaritas. Oh, she wants to eat, drink mas margaritas, I'm guessing. Um, uh, me too. <laughs> um, Chelsea Rose is going to have to watch this from the beginning. It looks very cool. It is very, very cool. And Carol, the dog, they all moved. The cat went after the puppy, but got the dog, my other dog instead. And so they're now all gone. <laughs> so <laughs> couldn't get that picture. Okay. So here I'm just adding some of the gold to accentuate where the sand is, which it's really hard to see where my line is, but because the photo is so faint right now. So I'm just going to dab it in here and there. Okay. So I'll flip it over and we'll take a look. Where do That's you think? So I think it's gorgeous. Okay. Now tilt it up a little more like away from you, top away from you. Here. I'm waiting for it to catch up. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Stop. Don't move. Okay. Not moving. That's so cool. Isn't that cool? So oh cool. my gosh. But it gets cooler. But wait, there's more. I feel like a but wait. television salesperson. <laughs> <laughs> but so wait, there's more. Whoopsie. Okay. So I have some of the silver in my little cup. And the reason is, is that I have to use quite a bit of silver. So I'm not putting it in the top of my of my little jar because I'm using so much. So, and when I say I'm using so much, it's just because I have to wet so much of it in order to get the effect to work. So I'm gonna pour in my lemon juice and I actually need to find a bigger brush. I thought I had a bigger one, but I don't. So I'm actually pouring in quite a bit of lemon juice. And we want this to be kind of a paste. Oh, there's my brush. It's kind of a paste, but not it's just not too watery is all. Right. So basically that's pretty good right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For a texture. And then you just go in and start painting along the edge all over the back. Okay. So what's but important here, guys, is that she is using the um our gold um uh bling bling what do we call it bling um bling highlighter highlighter and, thank you and this is the gold this is the silver yeah and we sell all three on our website uh, as a kit and i am putting the link up there we go guys um, and the reason that i'm using silver is when you look at mirrors the way that they make mirrors is everything like a, a mirror is backed in silver and sometimes gold and that's what makes it reflect so i just chose to go with the silver on this one because i already had gold in my highlights mm -hmm. but that's how mirrors are made so they back them and make the the backing opaque so then it's not see -through it's more. yeah So I'm just going to go all over it. And I'm kind of going lightly because I don't want to disrupt my highlights. Right. So now, it, you know, you said you're using a lot of that dust, but that little container of dust goes a long way. It's very deceiving. Oh, yeah. Like, um, I, have, I haven't even used half of it, and I've had this for almost eight months, I think. Yeah. So that it, one container. 
Yeah, it um, it's it's very deceiving, I guess, because it's you know so fine of a particle. Um, so don't feel like you have to get like the biggest thing that's out there. We purposely didn't carry a larger one because I don't think it's needed. Um, you could prove me wrong and tell me that. Um, Stacy wants to know if you have tried the silver backing step using an airbrush yet. No, I haven't. I have not. And it's because I don't have an airbrush that can handle the metallic. Gotcha. My my airbrush is just a little one and it probably would get too clogged up. So I just gotcha. I haven't bothered. But honestly, this this doesn't take long and it dries so quickly that it, it's quite amazing really how quickly this dries. So gotcha. I'm gonna flip it over so you can see the first coat. And please make sure you go back and read the comments. We would be talking and laughing the whole night, and this is a really good technique. So sometimes we have to be somewhat serious. Okay, so um, take it and move it, the whole thing towards you a little more. You're out of screen. Okay. There we go. Wait, I'm waiting for it to catch up because I think you got a good shot of it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That's just with one coat. <laughs> Hey, Brooke, that's sidewards, just so you're aware. Um, <laughs> I love the depth and dimension between the, the highlighter dust, the cello sheet, and the isomalt. That is beautiful. Isn't that cool? So now the I other thing I wanted to show you at this point, I don't know if I can catch it on camera or not, but I'm going to try it. I don't know if okay. I've got to. I just want you to be able to see what it looks like. Uh, I don't know if that's going to show or not. Can you see that where I have a light in behind it? Yeah. So you can see every brush stroke. So that's why, unless you're putting it on something, backing it right away like this, I would suggest doing the other coats. So at least three coats of the silver. to make sure that it has that reflective quality. All right, so guys, I will go back and we will have time for laughing. I just was really stuck into this. So I, <laughs> they're, they're getting mad because I haven't read all their comments. Because I'm <laughs> trying to focus on this, which is really hard. Um, guys, it's uh, about me right now. It's about me. Not about it's, all a, it's about me. It's all about, about me. It's all about Heather. <laughs> about. They're loving this, by the way. You know, um, Matt Mate did change her language for us because I yelled at her, and she says it's fucking <laughs> amazing, con madre. madre. <laughs> what is this PG? I'm like, there's nothing PG when Heather's on, or or a couple of other <laughs> friends. No holds barred. Okay. This is great. So now I'm just gonna go back in with another coat, and again, I'm just going light. Now, what you'll notice is when this stuff starts to dry, it I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's starting to ball up a little bit. Don't worry about that. It's just it's just the powder going back into powder form. Um, okay. But you can see where you've missed or you need to hit another spot and just kind of let it go in a little thicker so that it doesn't pull it all away. How are we doing for time, Debbie? I don't know. I'm too focused. Uh, we're nearing the, the end of the hour, but it's okay. Keep going. Okay. Well, I'll just do this one coat because it'll be fine. They get the gist. And you get the gist. What, what I did at the semi retreat is I stood it up and I used a couple of the semi molds that were the mini sea life molds and poured some of those in the clear isomalt just to accentuate the beach theme. Oh, um, wow. But this would make a great cake topper, or you could put it on the side of a cake, just like put it at the front or, you know what I mean? Like it, yeah. it would just be so pretty. And the great thing is you can do it with any photograph. Like yeah. any photograph can be turned into this. It's so cool. It is gorgeous. It, and everybody's loving it. You know, really great, really cool, outstanding um gorgeous superstar well, i'm a superstar actually, Woo! 
That was from Carol because I made it. I said it was all about you. She said superstar. <laughs> okay, and the other thing that I have to tell you is, you see how how bunged up my brush is? Can you see it? No, nope, you have to move there? it. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Can you see it? There's a yep. lot of dust in that. So instead of washing that out right now, take it and scrape it off onto your whatever you're using for your palette to get that excess off of there. And then you're you not could, wasting. Uh, so you, you used the lemon extract to mix it with, right? Yep. So couldn't you, couldn't you take the brush and put a little bit more lemon extract in there and rinse more of it off? before yes, you wash you it. You can. And by the now, way, what I do, I use this quite often. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to keep this, let it dry out. And once it dries, you can tap mm -hmm. it and get the extra out. Okay. It, it just falls out of your brush. All right. So here's a little, little um, tidbit of information that I learned. I hope I'm remembering this right, guys. Um, you know that, come here. Sorry, he's starting to wander and I don't trust him. Um, you know that it's um, it's edible if it easily cleans from your brush. Yes. So that's, that's right. important because there's a lot of bad stuff out there, especially if you buy from no-name people on Amazon. Um, oh, my gosh, yes. Yeah. And that's how people get sick, and that's what gives companies like this a bad name because mm -hmm. their stuff is edible. This is edible. But the stuff on Amazon, a lot of stuff is not edible. It's for right. decorative use only, and it does make people sick. It's a yep. food issue, a food illness issue. So, yes. okay, I'm going to flip it back over. It's like if you decorate with dirt. Yeah. For decorative use only. Okay, I'm going to put dirt on it. Right. It's the same kind of thinking, guys. Okay. All right, kind of lean it there. Oh, you got it right there. Don't move, don't move. Um, just bring it, bring it forward a little bit because part of it's out of screen. Forward towards? Away from away you. From, away from me? Okay. Perfect. Stay there. Let me just let it catch up. 